is going to play the Ligeti Six Bagatelles. And we're going to rehearse it for the first time on Sunday. And the most of it's not a problem for me. I just need to know how the piece goes and understand the rhythms and learn some tricky passages. But um, this is maybe the first time as a horn player that I will look at the high parts and say, oh, I guess I'm actually going to play these. And I don't know if I'll succeed. Uh, but sometimes in the practice room under certain conditions, I play them. And I have video evidence and, okay, great, I did that. And I'm just wondering, well, what what now? Because I'm in this strange in-between period where, okay, I can show up to rehearsal, I can relax, put the horn in my face, and I'm hoping I can at least just make some squealy sounds up there in the correct rhythms with the correct fingerings and just, like go for it instead of my um, old habit of taking anything scary down an octave and figuring no one would care. But it's always exciting to be looking at things with a more positive attitude and with a little bit more confidence. Mm -hmm. But what do I do now? Because I, I don't want to obsess over these high passages and get exhausted and frustrated. Um, right. What's a really healthy way to practice them and to think about this period? You do a little bit more singing, singing and fingering, and like build, you know, neural pipeline around, I forget, I know, I know there's a couple passages. Can you sing? Go ahead, go ahead, sing the, the passage that's high. Yeah, it goes, Da 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 dee da 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 Yeah. I think right. those are the right notes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Heidi did this for um a mini capstone, I think. Oh really? Yeah, so she yeah. she'll have a lot of advice for you actually. Oh good. She brought them with her. But um Yeah, she practiced the crap out of it. I think she took the more obsessed approach. <laughs> Um, but being able to sing it, oh. yeah, nice, awesome. So actually, <laughs> this reminds me of my buddy Chris Tedesco that I went to Indiana University with, and. And he was like, had, didn't have quite a high C. And there was some band piece that he was playing in that had a high C. And he was like, yeah, man, I just like, when the high C came, I just screamed it through the horn. I just sang it as loud <laughs> as I could. And, and everybody around me thought I was playing it. It sounded awesome. Wow. It was... <laughs> yeah. Because the horn's just an amplifier. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> and it, like, he was so ha happy with himself. You know? <laughs> I should have, I should have tried that a bunch of times. I've had auditions where I'll play everything just fine until the high C, and it's like yeah. silence, which you just go. Ah! <laughs> yeah, but you know, with your woodwind quintet, because. You you have options here, right? Like you're not a you're not in commercial music world where you have to play every note. You have to blah blah blah. Try singing it once through the horn when you get to that. What's it like to sing with them? It'd be fun to see if anyone notices. Yeah. <laughs> practice it. Practice it enough that you can really like. Oh wow! I can really get this to. How hornistic can I get it to sound? Try it. Try it right now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I can think it could be more horn-like. It could be more horn-like. There's still some tension when you go for the high C. I'm doing tension even when singing? Uh-huh. Oh, that's telling. Okay. Yeah. So isn't I can that make fun it less practice? tense. Yeah, isn't that fun to practice? Yeah, that's way less scary. To make it 
less tense, more in tune. You have the articulation. Maybe is the right articulation. Or nu nu nu, lu lu lu, something like that when you're singing. So even though you're slurring it on the horn, maybe. Yeah, I might do that. So you can practice it that way. You can play it down an octave. You can play it, you sing it up an octave, play it down an octave, and now you're like, okay, cool, like I'm ready to do whatever. And experiment and play like you were doing of like, oh yeah, I've got to just like mess around and sort of explore until the passage naturally comes in. But you want to have a strong neural network around around performing it without anxiety or fear. That's okay. Yeah, and singing is good for that. Oh, thank you.